morning everyone and welcome to today's vlog it is bobby and i'm very excited for today because well i'm excited for multiple reasons number one we are officially done with classes here at baylor yay so um today is a dead day and then we also have a lot of dead days next week at least i do because i have i only have a final on wednesday which is online and then one on thursday so basically that's all that's going on right now but i just woke up not too long ago did my quiet time as you guys saw and now i'm about to go see if the dining hall has breakfast i doubt it so if they don't then i'll just come back here and eat some raisin bran or something but the school year has come to an end it's really hard to believe that my freshman year of college is about to be over like it's crazy because it literally seems like so long ago that I was moving in like it seems like it was a long time ago but at the same time it doesn't seem like it was a long time ago and I also feel like a completely different person than I was coming in like I feel like a brand new Robbie but all that to say yeah it's over and I'm gonna be leaving this place soon hallelujah so I'm excited but today you guys are gonna come along with me I'm going to be studying for finals I actually won tomorrow too so I'm gonna be studying for finals I'm gonna be packing a little bit you guys will see that process I'm going to be with some friends maybe a little bit but we're all studying so the likelihood of that is probably very slim which is probably a good thing because my friends are crazy um and then you guys are also going to come with me tonight i'm actually singing at my church for a study night um, for college students so that should be very fun so that's at rehearsal starts at nine tonight so you guys can see that as well but i'm excited so come along with me and let's so speaking of moving out um this process i have not been like very productive in this area so far like my desk i still need to get all of this stuff out of here like basically I'm leaving tomorrow to go home for Mother's Day then I'm coming back for like a day and then leaving again don't know how that's gonna work but we're gonna try it out so basically by tonight I need to have everything packed up pretty much and I don't know how that's gonna really work so all this stuff needs to come off my wall this stuff needs to go in my car I need to, there's stuff in my drawers here. Like all this stuff needs to come out. And the thing is I only have one suitcase. I don't really feel like buying a box. So don't really know how this is gonna work. I'm probably just gonna have to throw stuff in my car. And luckily I live pretty close to campus. And since I'm coming back, I'll have the opportunity to get whatever I didn't get the first time. But I wanna try to get everything out today. So you guys will probably see a little bit of what that looks like. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and go to Pinland. I have my ID here. Give it one second. Ignore the, it's wrinkled. We're college students. We don't really have time to iron stuff. <laughs> but I have my ID and I'm going to head there now. And then when I come back, I think that I'm going to not answer questions, but basically explain how the semester has been. So yeah. <laughs> So today, surprisingly, they had chicken tenders. So what I tried to do was chicken tenders and then my waffles is underneath. So chicken and waffles and then fruit. And then I have my coffee. Um, those are actually my Sour Patch from last night when we, went, when we went to the movies. But that's what I'm gonna be eating this morning. And then the next time I show you guys what I eat will probably be like around dinner. Um, I just finished eating and I'm waiting to get my friend Manny to come over but basically while we wait I'm going to get some of the stuff off my walls and then like I said I'm um, just explain to you guys how this year has kind of gone. I've mentioned this before but coming into college I don't think I was really prepared for just all that it brought like I don't think that anyone really prepared me for college but I think that's just because everyone has their own experience oops everyone has their own unique experience and no one's is gonna be identical to someone else's so for me one of my things was like okay now that I'm not in my parents house anymore I'm pretty much independent um 
and one of the biggest things was like me exercising my faith on my own and I've like I've grown up in the church I've had a you know strong like relationship with God but what I don't think I was prepared for was like for the test of my faith because even if I was like tested in the past it was not the same as what I experienced in college um, but the thing that really got me through was like having community having friends who can uplift me having mentors and leaders God really blessed me with some amazing people throughout this college experience and I'm so grateful here's one of them Logan Jackson yeah it's so honestly community another thing was studying in high school you know it's easy to kind of just wing it and do whatever okay I'm literally ruining these pictures this is actually me and Kirk Franklin I just ripped it oops this is actually gorilla tape so that explains why um this is also after dark I performed at this my name is there on the back I don't know if you guys can see but yeah this is something that I did like coming right into college which actually kind of brings me to another point my first semester I was getting a little bit too plugged in I was doing the most and therefore like my school work kind of took the back burner and I quickly realized that I had to turn that around right away um, so like I was saying with studying, you have to find a pattern that works for you. And for me, I learned that if I'm going to really study, I have to go to the library. I couldn't just be hanging out around the dorm, you know, talking to people while trying to do my work. Like I need to be in the library um, by myself. Oh my gosh, I just ripped another picture. In the library by myself doing my own thing. So that's one thing that I realized. But people don't see i was not prepared for i guess the challenge that it would be to really be good with time management and stuff because i just wanted to get plugged in and get involved and i was doing a lot i was on the african dance team i was in the african choir i was singing at church on the worship team i was um, in this organization called portraits and then I was and I joined this semester I joined this um, campus ministry called FaceTime with God so like it was just too much for me to handle um, <clears throat> so but I got it together this semester you guys I definitely got it together and I'm proud to say that like I've been doing good this semester academically I'm very proud to say that so yeah you just have to be ready for that challenge that college brings and also finances now i did not have a job coming into college i didn't have a job this semester i did serve at my church and occasionally like they gave us you know something but um i didn't have a job so managing finances is like something that I feel like really starts to begin in college. Excuse me. Look guys, this is when we went to New York over winter break. So fun. But um, you have to really, financially, college, listen, the money comes and it goes. And I'm trying to work on that right now, just making sure that I'm responsible financially because that's literally something that we have to deal with in the real world but yeah so okay so i got all the things off my wall um oops i already took that to the car but most of my like decorations and stuff books whatever are in that little box that my mom got made for me um oh i have some things over there that i need to take down but that's one thing that you'll really have to be careful with um, in college <clears throat> but i also I learned the importance of community, of godly friendships. Let me say it again. Godly friendships. Let me just say it again for the people in the back. Godly friendships. I almost got, I almost got carried away, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I almost got carried away. Knowing my personality, it's easy for me to get hooked to things. And I want to, <clears throat> 
a few parties last semester and had a lot of fun. I almost got carried away, but God said nope. All that to say, like I didn't drink or anything or smoke, whatnot, but like just being in that environment, you know, our flesh likes things like that. Um, and I almost got carried away, but godly friendships, having church community, those are some of the most important things that you need in your life or college. The wrong people, the wrong people will take you away. And I can't stress this enough. I had this one situation where um, I had to sing in the morning at church and our call time is 7 a.m. So that means I'm waking up at 5.30, 5.45. And, you know, going to a party Saturday night is not the wisest thing to do. It really isn't. So that lesson, like godly friendships, people who care about your spiritual growth, care about your heart for God, will not try to lead you down that path. And I had to learn that kind of the hard way. So godly friendships, here's all the stuff off my wall. Um, I don't think Manny's over here yet, but we're gonna just be studying in the common area. And yeah, but let me go ahead and get some of the stuff off my bed too. I'll catch you guys later. So right now, Manny is taking too long. So I'm headed to the library. Um, my friends are like in a study room, but I know that I get easily distracted. So I think I'm just gonna try to like find a cubicle or something by myself in the library. So I will catch you guys or update you guys when I get there. leaving the library was able to get a lot done actually but obviously during finals everyone is in the library so it started to get a little bit loud and stuff now I am headed to the business building my friends rented a room there so I'm on the way there um, and you'll get to meet some of them but they're a hot mess um, let me just say that I've tried to vlog yesterday and it just got insane so Hopefully today will be better. Can I say hi to the vlog? I have to redo it because of yesterday. <sighs> she saw Dr. Strains yesterday, clearly. So did we, but it was demonic. Hi, Yuki, and this is Haley. Bro, I'm about to start doing that. Shorts are so cute, though. Girl, what? Those are underwear. Yeah, they are underwear. They're not shorts. They look ghetto when they look I ratchet. Can't. I couldn't tell. Okay, we just left the business building, which was fun. Um, and now I'm headed to the Slick to do a quick little workout because I won't be able to work out tomorrow since I'm like going home and stuff. So I'm gonna do that today. I think I'm probably gonna do some legs and then um, head back to my dorm. So this is usually the time when I take off my waist trainer, but I forgot that today. So it's just me. Um, I did legs today. I don't really know how to flex my legs. going to keep getting videos of outside because it's such a beautiful day today that's where I just was the slick um but it is such a beautiful day look at all the grass
date time. So I ate dinner, we watched um, the show for a little bit. I came upstairs, took a shower because I'm gonna get back a little bit late tonight. Um, so I took a shower, did laundry. Now um, I'm about to go study a little bit more before I have to leave tonight to go to church for the study night. So I will see you guys probably when like I'm in the car on the way there and we'll show you guys what that experience looks like as well. So I'm with my friend Kaya. She is amazing. I sing with her. Well, we met at the Kirk Franklin camp and then now we both go to Baylor and now we sing at the same church together. So Kaya, I wanted to ask you a few questions. Over your freshman year, mm -hmm. how have you seen God grow you? So I'm, anyone who knows me knows I'm very like, I'm a people person, but it takes a lot for me to like, talk to people mm -hmm. or to get comfortable and in college that's like something you cannot do because you cannot be in college by yourself so I can definitely say that God has pushed me to be more like open to more relationships and friendships and just like connecting with people and being more like Christ-like because Christ was a people person he mm -hmm. is a people person God is mm -hmm. a people person so to be like God we have to be people people too <laughs> and yeah okay good um i also wanted to ask you so we are both in we both sing at our church and then we mm -hmm. are also both a part of facetime with god mm -hmm. um, that worship team so how has that community like impacted your time here at baylor so everyone knows baylor is predominantly white <laughs> and so facetime for it to be like people who look like us it made it it made me more comfortable with being in a PWI, with being myself. Mm -hmm. Like it's okay to still be African-American in a PWI. It's okay to still be yourself. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay. Um, and then I just ask you one more question. Personally, I know that like I came into college 
a hot mess mm -hmm. and coming out I feel like a completely different person now mm -hmm. so what do you think is one of the like most life-changing moments that you'll hold on to definitely FM 72 I feel like it's always good to have like that sense of revival that sense of fresh fire because mm. you may like realize like your stress or rather you may not realize how stressed you can be in a situation until mm. God is at the center of a situation mm. and then everything feels like like it feels like you're free mm -hmm. and so for FM 72 to have happened our freshman year it was like life-changing yeah. like I got a whole new perspective on who God is what God is doing mm. and it's so easy to get caught up in the now or get caught up in ourselves but we have to remember that God is our peace and God is who like I don't know he changes everything yeah and so yeah yeah well thank you for You're letting welcome. me interview you and I'll probably insert some clips of FM72 because it was that good. And if you're thinking about coming to Baylor, just be on the lookout for FM72. Mm -hmm. Then it is my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very good. Christ and baptism. Praise Then it is my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very good. Christ and baptism. officially about to go to sleep so it has been a great but long day so I'm tired I have a final in the morning at 9 a.m. then I'm hitting the road so pray for your girl but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog have a good night bye <laughs>